for 50 plus years, this structure, this fence, this barbed wire has been made to keep people inside. Today, it exists to keep people like me on the outside. So nobody could say what went on in here. So we're gonna do our best to fill everybody in. What you are seeing now are the remains of a prison that the state school was converted to, but more on that later. Due to vandalism and development, these walls face the threat of demolition. But between these walls, there are so many historical accounts. The plight of the victims. A whole other world. A place that is not a mere building, but a community that shaped the surrounding region. I feel horrible about all the lost souls that are trapped in places like Laconia State School. If demolished and the property repurposed, where do they go? Will people be able to pay their respects? Laconia State School opened in 1903 with the idea of separating children with cognitive disabilities from the rest of society based on the conflicting ideology that it was wrong for these children to be cast out of their homes due to lack of proper medical care. Researchers believed that they should be removed from society because they thought it would be more than likely that these children would turn to crime. This was the practice of eugenics. In 1905, the school began to allow the admission of women over the age of 21, where up until this point, they had only accepted children from ages three to 21. By 1916, the school became overcrowded, with around 300 students. This worsened during the Great Depression, when families were unable to feed their children and knew if they attended the school, they would at least be fed. In 1917, the state of New Hampshire authorized sterilization of people then considered to be feeble-minded by the school's trustees and the approval of three doctors. Sterilization was the only way to leave this school. By 1942, overcrowding had increased to 600 students, being served by staff who worked 51 hours per week at a ratio of one staff member per 30 to 35 residents. Though conditions began to improve in 1952 due to a new superintendent, including increased time with training and education, steps towards allowing more privacy and an introduction to co-educational activity, the crowding was severe. By 1970, 
there were 1,100 children and adults residing at the school, with 400 more on the wait list, despite the severe overcrowding. This led to extreme mistreatment and living in subhuman conditions. Institutions like Laconia State School began to close in 1991 due to a class action lawsuit. After the school's closure, it was converted to a state prison known as Lakes Region Facility. Though intended to only hold 300 prisoners accused of minor crimes in 1997, they increased that cap to 500. Prisoners were tasked with renovating the buildings on campus that had fallen into disrepair. In 2004, the prison was converted into a transitional facility for minimum security inmates near the end of their sentences. The prison closed in 2009 due to the recession. As of September 2024, the property is under agreement to be redeveloped into a combination of residential and commercial uses. The land was sold to Pillsbury Realty Development, LLC, for $10.5 million. As of now, it has not been decided if the buildings will be renovated or completely demolished. What the hell, dude? As of now, it has not been decided if the buildings will be renovated or completely demolished. <laughs> 